arithmetic sequences and series. When you add or subtract a fixed number, you will have an arithmetic sequence. Example 1. Take the following sequence. 2, 5, 8, 11. You will notice that the difference between two consecutive numbers is always a 3. This we call this is an arithmetic sequence and the common difference D is equal to 3. Take the following example. The numbers 1.7, 1.5, 1.3, and 1.1 are decreasing by the value minus 0.2. This is an arithmetic sequence and the common difference is D equal minus 0.2. The nth term in an arithmetic sequence. A n equal A1 plus n minus 1 times D. A1 is the first term and D is the common difference. The following example. Find the 68 terms in the following arithmetic sequence. First of all, we decide that A1 is equal 6. We notice that the common difference D is equal plus 4. And we apply the nth rule, which is A n equal A1 uh, plus n minus 1 times D. The fact that he's asking about the 68 terms, it means that n equals 68. All what you have to do, just replace the values and find... Uh, the required value. Now I want you to pause your screen and solve this equation. Compare your answers with mine. Let's move now to another example. Find D if A1 equal 2 and A29 equal 28. Now we write the nth formula which is in front of you. A29 means that n equal 29. All what you have to do, just replace the values as they appear in front of you. And then you solve the equation and find D. Now pause your screen and solve the following question and compare your answers with mine. Another type of question is to find A1 given A21 equal negative 17 and D equal negative 3. We use the same nth formula. We replace the values as you can see in front of you. And then we solve the equation we find the value of A1. Now I want you to pause your screen again and solve the question and compare your answer with my answer. You can also be asked to find the n value. Look at the question in front of you. You've been given a1, d, and a n. All what you have to do is to write again the nth term equation of arithmetic sequence. You replace the values as you can see in front of you, and you solve the equation and you find the value of n. Work out the equation and simplify it. Don't forget to add similar terms and then continue simplifying until you find n value. Sometimes in the exam you will be given two non-consecutive terms. Then you have to assume a, N, N indicate the higher number and M the smaller number. And then you have to apply the rule as you can see it in front of you. Take the following example. A8 equal 26, A14 equal 50, and you can see 8 and 14, they are not consecutive. They are far away from each other. Thus, we will assume immediately N to be 14 because it is the biggest number or the bigger number. And M is number 8, the smaller number. Now we recall the equation a n equal a m plus n minus m times d. Look at the order. You apply the values as you can see it in front of you.
Now, when you do this, you will find the common difference. Look at the steps. Now, you follow the steps to simplify this equation. You will figure out the value of d. After that, after finding the value d, you want to find the value of a1. Thus, we will take one of the values, either a14 or a8. I will go for the bigger one, a14. I will recall the first equation a n equal a1 plus n minus 1 d. I will apply all the values and I will solve the question and then I will find the value of a1, which is negative 2. Now, I have uh, created a new question. I have a1, I have d, and I know uh, I have a n as well. And all what is left for me, I need to find the m value. This basically, I will replace everything and then simplify it to the end. For the coming example, I want you also to pause your screen and solve this equation and then compare your answer with my answer. Now, arithmetic mean. Let's take the following example. You have a sequence that consists of 2, 9, 16, 23, and 30. Now, if someone asks you give the arithmetic mean between 9 and 30, it is the set of numbers between them. Okay, example. Give the two arithmetic means between the numbers 19 and 4. All of what you have to do. Now, when he says 19 and 4, two arithmetic means, it means that you have two numbers between 19 and 4. You put them like this. Two arithmetic means, it means two empty boxes between them. Now, you have to figure out what is D in order to complete the sequence. How you will do it? You will say, okay, how many terms do I have in front of me? We have A1, which is 19 the two boxes A2 and A3, and the fourth box is, uh, or the fourth number is A4. Thus, basically, we are dealing with A119 and A44 and N equal 4. You remember the same equation, you recall it, AN equal A1 plus N minus 1 times D. You replace the values, as you can see, I'm doing it in steps. You find the value of D. Now, the minute you found the value of D, you can go back to number 19 and apply this value and you keep applying it as you see in front of you. Solve the following question and compare your answers with mine. Now in the coming part, we will move to arithmetic series. Kindly take note of the following rules. We will move now to the first type of questions about the arithmetic series. Find the sum of the first 75th terms of the following sequence. Now, upon checking, we will discover that D equal 0.1. A1 is equal negative 1.7, and when they ask for the 75th terms, it means N equal 75. Now, your first goal is to find A75. Thus, you will apply the rules according to A n equal A1 plus N minus 1 D. You will apply it, as you can see in front of you, and you will find the value of A75. Now, after finding A75, you will use the following rule, S n equal A1, N over 2, times a1 plus an, and then you find the sum. 
Now solve this equation and compare your answer with mine. Now another type of question is find the first three terms given a1 equal 14, a n equal negative 85, and the sum is negative 1207. Now you will apply the rule of the sum, as you can see in front of you. You will replace the value, and your goal here is to find the value of n. Now upon finding the value of n, you will go back and you will say, okay, a n equal a1, plus n minus 1 times d and my goal here is to find d thus I'm gonna replace the value I know that n is 34 I will replace it I know a1 it's given in the question and I will find the value d the minute I found the value d I will take a1 and then I will start applying the value d to each new term Now we're moving to the last example. We are missing A1 and as usual, you, they want you to find the first three terms. Now, you will apply the sum rule, as you can see, you will replace all the values and then you will find the value of A1. You need to keep in mind the simplification. Okay, now after finding the value of A, uh, uh, let us say A1, I can use A, 16 because n equals 16 and I will recall a n equal a 1 plus n minus 1 times d then I will find the value d and I will apply it as you can see in front of you that was the end of the lesson thank you so much